guys welcome back to my channel my name is Alexa and I post about tan this video is going to be on the tanologist face and body drops the fans on I'm sorry it's very hot I could open a window but you could hear everything I chose for you when you are tanning if you are new to tanning or if you or a regular tan you know that your face fades the fastest why you usually have makeup you have to wash your face I wash my face or I tone it at least twice I clean my face twice a day my tan will only last me on my face about two to three days so when I saw this at Target I went and picked it up this was 16 bucks I believe um, what it is it's a self tan drop so you add it either with your moisturizer um, and you combine it between 1 to 12 drops, put it over your face, and it's also able to be used for your body, but I don't want to do that. I'm very scared, so I will not use this. This will just be strictly my face tan if it um, works, like when my face is fading and I need it to match my body, because I don't want to wear makeup every day. I don't want to wear makeup to match my fake tan. Like, no. Not all the time. The person who created Tanologist, his name is Lottie Tomlinson. She is an entrepreneur, she's a makeup artist. She's done great things with the life she's been given or thrown. She's made a business out of it. So she likes tanning, this is her brand. Um, I saw on the Tanologist Instagram that she actually combined it with her foundation and she put it on and it just bronzed her up uh, over the time that she was wearing her foundation. So I decided to do that as well. Uh, I will go ahead and if <laughs> I kind of messed up, but if it doesn't work, I will film the part where I add it to my moisturizer tonight to see. Um, it is Monday, so I don't know how long this will last on my face. I take off my tans on Wednesday, so Tuesday and Wednesday, those are it's only gonna last two days, so hopefully this will work. I will still be testing these. I always test myself tanners even after the first impression just because I paid money for it. I want to see if it works. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump on into the video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Alexa. I upload every Sunday and Thursday. Stay tuned because you're going to see me with no makeup. I'm sorry. I'm a real life catfish. Let's just do this. Come on. Let's go. As you can see, my face is different than my neck. This has I usually put self tanner on, but it washed off. Obviously, I'm washing my face all the time. I'm sorry, but this is <laughs> yo. You can tell there's a difference. Um, I already moisturized and primed. I'm gonna just kind of treat this like how I would with every foundation that I use. I wanted to go with a matte finish today just because if I use glowy, I don't know if any oils or anything that's in a glowy foundation will. Um, interfere with the drops so this is the shade dark I believe I already said this this is the wet and wild foundation in golden beige this is a good shade if you do dark self tanners like how like kind of close to my skin tone um, if you do dark or even ultra dark golden beige by well wet and wild is a pretty good one I know other people use like desert beige but this is the one I um, works best for me I like so I feel like this would be the best technique I could be wrong but I'm using the viewfinder too I obviously shouldn't do that but we're gonna do it right now so I think this is enough for me for coverage wise I feel this is a really good coverage foundation so I mix the drops I'm just shaking it up I don't know how to, I don't know if you're supposed to like mix it we're gonna wing it what could go wrong two one okay so we're gonna do <gasps> oh oh no i spilled like a whole bunch of self on her hey, body no 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 we're gonna have to wash you off immediately don't do what i did and put my finger in the tan okay put it on here this is what could go wrong play that back because this is what could go wrong okay we're gonna mix it i didn't want to put it on my hand so i thought that would be the best bet that was not the best bet but i'm mixing it in with my foundation hopefully i get everywhere this is just not a very i should have just done it on my hand alexa you could have just done that 
it would have been fine. I'm trying to spread all the product as much as possible since it is mixing in with my foundation. It should be fine. And I have it on my finger too. I have to make sure to wash my hands. We're gonna wash it. How long does this take to develop? Does this say? It doesn't say how long to um, put it on for. So we're just gonna, I have to go out. So it's gonna be out for a few hours anyways. It doesn't say three, it doesn't say, to, it, does, it doesn't say anything. And I feel like my foundation is dry. This is not going as planned. I'm also taking a little bit down my neck just because I have a little discoloration right here from fading. Right here usually goes weird on me, so. I think that's all I can blend for right now because this is a very matte foundation, like I said, so it dries very quickly. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. This is my face after I did my hair as well. And so I have things I'm gonna do. I washed my chest and I washed my hands very thoroughly. I am so scared that this spot will gradually like get darker and I really don't want that to happen. So hopefully it doesn't, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my thing. I'm meeting up with friends, social distancing at the park. It's been so long, I miss them. So I'm gonna go see them right now because it's okay for us to go now. We just still have to stay within the six feet range. And this is it. I will wash it off tonight um, and we will see what we're left with. Hopefully it's tan and not a disaster. That is what I'm hoping for, not a disaster. So I will see you tomorrow morning. This is the next day. This is my face, definitely. I feel like I look orange or I don't even know, um, but this is it. Definitely darker, so I think I might need to just pick up the medium shade for what I tend to use it for, but I'm gonna obviously keep using it, but this is what I look like. So it does definitely tan your face. Be careful though, because you see this very orange finger. Thank God it's only gonna stay in my body for like two days. But I do enjoy it. I will probably pick up a different shade. Now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look as bad. I mean, you can definitely see a distinct line. But for two days, I would still use it. I'm going to use it up until it's gone. But I do enjoy it. I will like it. Um, again, you can customize your drops. So I think I might do two drops instead of three. Or like just do one drop. And just spread it all over my face. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And until next time, I will see you guys next time.